What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Calm C series for the month of May of 2024. Uh, a little bit different this month. Uh, a lot didn't get, I guess, processed through. We had a whole lot of uh, inventory going into it. So if you look, where is it at here? Over 6000 is my asking price. Total sales now for over 4100 here on Calm C. I would say realistically that's probably January, February, March, April, May numbers. Um, but you, I will show you on to part of the chart here in a minute. Where are we at? Okay. Let me flip to this page here. So this, this just shows you all the packages I've sent in. I would say I uh, starting right around beginning of February is when they got these in. They're all complete, as you can see. Well, from here down, my bad. Um, still a little bit of work here. They started working on this package up here. Just nothing has popped yet onto it. Uh, doing pretty good overall. I mean, I'm really excited to drop a big box off with them at the Midwest Monster. They're giving 25% off um, listing fees. So, hey. A little more of a wiggle room on some of that stuff. But yeah, still a lot of stuff out there. I'd probably guess... Six, I'd probably guess roughly a thousand cards. Maybe plus or minus on to that a hundred. But still not bad. Still not bad. So we still got 1,100 cards. There's 2,400 still out there for sale. Um, I, I don't think I'll ever get to 5,000 being able to have on to here. All right, now let's move to monthly sales. This is what everybody likes to look at. So, again, I started selling. This was mostly here in November. It was just stuff that was on my Upper Deck EPAC. December, I had one box go through, and I don't know how it went through so quick. Oh, I also remember I purchased a card off of eBay um, that was on for Calm C. I got it dirt cheap and I listed it for like 300 and somebody bought it. Idea wasn't to hurry up and go sell it. I was going to ship it to myself, but hey, somebody paid that ridiculous high price I put on. I, I still can't believe it to this day. So probably about 233 was roughly that month there. 171 in January. We started seeing stuff where it started getting up 290, 602. 1400 last month. This month uh, for May, $1,077.94. 300 cards were sold. So we're looking a little over, I think it was like 320 a card. Let me just do the math again here. I had it up and I forgot to write it down offhand. Oops, hit the wrong button. So 359 a card. So not bad, three dollars eighty nine cents a card on average. Uh, I could tell you with these numbers here, thirty two of that three hundred is a bigger number than last month, and percentage wise too, was sold on eBay through Com C. Buy it now. So that's kind of crazy right there. Um, came out being ten point six percent of my sales for the month on Com C was actually done on eBay as buy it nows. So it, it makes some sense. I, I'm seeing with this here, you see RE2 items sold today. Not a whole lot of money. They were small end items. But it, it's getting there. I mean, realistically, in the course of a year, if I can, you know, somehow be around that ten to $15,000 just off a low end and be able to convert that into nicer cards by buying out collections, I think this is going to turn out well. Um, I'm not looking to try to, you know, break the bank and be number one in, or top 10 or top 100 in sales and buys and all that. But I think if you have the time to do the research, which I do, it's insane the amount I spend on here searching port sales and um, uh, auctions to, I forget what they call it. it, might just be sales, where people are like, hey, I got all these cards, uh, you could take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% off asking price. Granted, their asking price might be double what the card's actually worth, so, two-edged sword type deal. Alright, so not too bad for the month overall, not too bad. Purchase history, you guys see what I paid for some of this stuff, it don't matter. Um, I did get that booklet, I paid 800 for it. They, the booklets out of 99 were doing 400. 
My idea was that's probably a 3X onto it, so got to sell it 800 onto it. I was really happy on that. Again, the Auto 75, you guys seen this in the previous video, is the Bill Cower Auto on the Ben Roethlisberger card. I want to say the 150 did what I paid for this card onto it. Uh, Crosby Auto, you guys are going to see that. It should be in the mail Monday. It'll be part of the uh, long vlog week. Uh, Duke Schneider, Diamond Icons, cut, signature out of four. A Nolan Ryan that I got on there <laughs> under auction. Believe it or not, you can see where I got it from eBay. Believe it or not, this went like $60 under what they were selling. 50 or 60 under. And then I did the same with Corbin Carroll. This was going around 250 I got it for 185 It just shows a lot of people will not bid on Com C stuff like they do off of everybody else out there. I can't put my finger on it, but it's been tested now for five months. And you could actually get the cards cheaper most of the time on Com C's auctions on eBay than you would just buy... I don't know, we will say DC Sports Auction site with them doing the work or you auction it yourself. I think people see and hear the rumors, oh, it takes forever and that, but if you have it come to your account and just get, you know, X amount of cards and then pay for the overnight, it, it goes quick. I mean, literally, well, it's supposed to be they pull it that day, ship it the next, and then it comes here the following. Mail's been a little slow, we'll just say that. Um, I picked a 2 2 Atwell 101 up, uh, Nike Swoosh, and then another Sidney Crosby Auto <laughs> for 172 That's uh, To me, I put a max bid on where I think the card's worth around 250 And that's because just for myself. If it comes in and it's gradable, great. If not, hey, it's Crosby Auto. Those things are getting harder and harder to pull out a product where he's only signing 10 to, say, at the most, 50 cards. So, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. But you guys can see that in a week-long vlog style. Yeah, that's a YouTuber word, vlog. But I wanted to just bring this up just so see people could kind of get an idea of how the months have been rolling and stuff like that. And it gets me to look more in-depth on to different areas onto it. You guys can see some of the stuff like, look, I made 71 cents on this card. I'd pay 50. I probably paid... I don't know where I got the card from. I might be I might have lost money on this. I don't know. Um, no, I probably did. I made six cents. I pay about fifteen cents a card on these. But um, you know, sometimes when you're just going through, trying to go quick, like look at eighty-seven tops of Montana, dollar eighteen is what I made on to. Probably was in it for seventy-five cents. You know, this I picked up at a card show, the Makita. I paid two dollars for it, so two fifty sold for six sixty. Is it really, when you look at the total amount here, like, oh, you only made $4.10, but you look at the percentage that I made off it, and you keep doing that over and over again, yeah. It will add up pretty quick. But, yeah, again, it's been working out pretty good. I just want to share stuff out there. Um, if you put in the hard work onto this, and I mean, it's been some hard work and hours. It does start paying dividends overall. The hard part again is finding the inventory out there, not just going to buy collections, all these like 90s base cards that aren't going to sell on here. It's actually going through trying to find, be like, okay, there's like at least 500 cards I could send this collection to Com C. We'll, we'll just mark them at X amount, of, uh, you know, per card, put down the total and all this stuff. But it, it's getting harder. I'm going to have to start venturing out, I think, to. Um, I guess a more mileage radius or start looking at other states, you know, to start trying to pick this stuff up. But again, like I said, it's been pretty good. A lot of the other stuff, um, you guys know I put in the 50 cent value boxes and stuff. Hopefully, you know, you do get stuck with a lot of it over time. But when you're buying, you know, a 5,000 count box at like 20 to $30 a box, whatever it's getting averaged out to. You know, you sell X amount of cards out to it, you're out of it, then everything else after it's profit. But yeah, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good overall. Been impressed since I've gotten into Com C and everything. We'll see where it goes by the end of the year. I'm sure the end of the year numbers are going to be probably crazy. Uh, we'll see how, I, I don't know. I know they do some kind of weird auction thing at the end of the year where everybody just unloads all kind of stuff. So... 
that might be a, like a little misconstruing with the numbers whenever we load, go through December. We'll, we'll touch base with that when it happens. But all right, guys, appreciate you always watching. If you guys have anything you want to talk about comps, you always put in the comments. I know there's been people looking through the comments. Um, I get all these questions at the shows and stuff on to it. Uh, talking about the videos because it's at least been a little helpful with people. Uh, seeing how I've been doing this stuff and seeing it can be done. But it's not like I'm making crazy money per month onto this. You know, where it's like I have almost made, what, 1100 I probably had, oh, we're going to say graciously three to $400 in those cards. Plus all the stuff that's sitting there. It starts becoming a warning after time. You just don't see it. And it's slowly, very slowly trickling through. All right, everybody. Appreciate it as always watching it. I don't want to drag this video on too long. You guys take care. And the video out after this will be the vlog. And then it'll move into probably a live with the Midwest Monster maybe for an hour or two. I'll come live. Or I'll maybe I'll just do regular video clips and just make the video when I come back. I haven't decided yet. All right, guys. Take care. I'm out.